And well, uh, not going to be island weather. I, I say that, you know, we've had a lot of weather this month, temperatures this month that have not been very December like, not very winter like. Winter officially begins tonight, 927. That's the winter solstice. So just under 12 hours from now, officially it will be winter. Now, where are the winter temperatures? We're still playing the waiting game on that as we get towards Christmas things start to change, but out the door this morning, it is cool this morning, but we are well above normal. Clouds cover hanging in. We're looking from Tulsa International Airport. Of course, keeping an eye on your travel conditions for you over the next few days. Despite the cloud cover, I'm still expecting a high near 62 this afternoon. There will be some spots that are a few degrees under that. Some spots will be, you know, 58 or 59. Others will be 62 or 63, but all of us above normal. The cloud cover is out ahead of our approaching storm system. Still doesn't look like much. I mean, this is just very light rain southwest Kansas into the Panhandle region. But that will be a kind of translating east, and by this evening, those rains will start to enter eastern Oklahoma. All right, giving you a quick overview for folks that are flying, traveling over the next several days. Not a lot of impactful weather across the country today, so that's good news. Of course, we got our system coming in, but that's minor, you know, travel impacts overall. Some rain near Los Angeles today, but the rest of the country pretty quiet. Tomorrow, again, most of the country is in pretty good shape from a weather standpoint. We'll have our rain system exiting. Some more rain near LA and Phoenix, but then the rest of the country, outside the, some rain in Portland as well, will be in pretty good shape. Further into the weekend, it gets a little bit messier. So Saturday, our bigger storm system takes shape to our south. So a little stormy in parts of Texas, some snow in the Colorado Rockies. Christmas Eve Sunday, that storm system comes plowing through here with heavy thunderstorms in the morning. Uh, so that will be an impact for some of the plain states on Sunday. And then Christmas Day Monday, that system is pushing east and some stormy weather from portions of the Great Lakes into the southeast United States. So by the end of the weekend into the Christmas time frame, that's when travel conditions could get a little messier in spots. Here in green country, of course, everyone wants to know that Christmas forecast. We've been talking about it all week and no drastic changes on the outlook this morning. Christmas Eve, again, it's going to be a stormy Christmas Eve morning, mild afternoon temperatures and Christmas Day has continued to look chillier than it did look a couple days ago as we're expecting a cold front to sweep in on Christmas Day. So back to today's timeline. Once again, cloudy skies, a peak or two of sunshine. Highs will be in the range of upper 50s to low 60s. Some spots will be a few degrees cooler. By later this evening, I think especially after sunset, that's when showers become more likely. Most of this will be light to moderate rain during the late night hours and then carrying over into early tomorrow morning. It won't be continuous. Some spots will pick up more than others. It'll be, you know, by I think after sunrise tomorrow, more intermittent, but temperatures still in the low 50s. If we're lucky we might break up the cloud deck a little more tomorrow with highs in the low 60s and now let's briefly show you what that Christmas system looks like so Friday midday through most of Saturday we're pretty quiet Saturday evening storms taking shape across western Oklahoma for pretty windy conditions as well and then here we go Sunday morning this is just before sunrise Sunday Christmas Eve morning a line of heavy thunderstorms marching in eastern Oklahoma severe weather threats still look pretty low but one or two of those could be locally strong and again there's the potential for some very heavy rain with those Sunday morning Christmas Eve morning storms rainfall amounts the next seven days where you see the purple and red that would indicate one to two inches of rain for most of us the majority of that is going to be Christmas Eve morning we're not going to have heavy rains tonight. You know, a lot of that would be Christmas Eve morning. And after that system exits later Christmas Eve, that's when some chillier air starts to arrive for a change. Because, again, we haven't had a lot of that this month. So mild conditions today, right on through Friday, right on through Saturday. And actually, Christmas Eve Sunday will still be very mild as well and kind of breezy. So just playing on Christmas Eve morning. Yeah, being a little, a little bumpy, a little stormy with some heavy rains. Uh, and then Christmas Eve night, Christmas morning, a slight chance for a shower. Chillier Christmas Day into the first half of next week.